So, catch up, because I see the questions already coming my way. Uh, for those of you tuning in who are just on Twitch, I don't know anything that's been going on. I, this channel has just gone mysteriously dark. The YouTube channel has gone mysteriously dark. So, beginning of last month, we were in the middle of our... We were doing a lot of Black Lives Matter streams. Then I was going to go do a live protest, June 3rd. I was ready. I was going to bring the backpack. Here we go. Anyways, got the bad news. My dad, that morning, killed in a car accident. Awful. Awful. Worst thing that's ever happened to me. And I've had some, 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 some uh, you know, bad moments. Terrible. So, did not stream that day. Uh, when we went to the protest. It was a nice distraction. And then kind of just hung around being depressed. Flew home to Colorado. Dealt with all of that. Definitely a fucked up situation. Um, you know, especially in 2020, you're worried like, oh, my parents, what if my parents get COVID? What if my dad gets COVID from going to the store? No, I'm just killed in a car accident instead. There's never really a good circumstance to lose a parent, I think. But maybe, maybe in the best case scenario, they know it's coming. You get your final time in. You're like, this is it. This is it. I'm going to miss you. What have we not said to each other? Car accident. It's just like, oops, okay. Well, whatever's uh, unresolved from your 36 years of knowing each other is your problem for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, and it's and it's just awful. It's, I mean, a, you know, a car accident, like, you know, you get to go, you see the wreck. It's just, it's a whole fucking thing. This is not a bummer stream, but in terms of, you know, me disappearing for a month or whatever, uh, you know, a new experience. <laughs> uh, so that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. Going home, pretty rough. Had to go through his office, go, through, he had like an eBay, you know, sent out his final stuff, you know, just everything. So I, I went home for about a week to Colorado. Help my mom, you know, figure stuff out, sort stuff out, all that stuff. A uh, pretty rough time. And they say it gets better. So I'm like a month and a half out. And I don't know that it's true. You kind of stop thinking about it. I feel like immediately it's fresh and it sort of informs most of the moments of a day. And then it sort of settles. And then it's just more like you get gut punches. You get surprise gut punches. Uh, I came back and I was like, I was like, what am I doing? Period. I live stream in a warehouse. I play video games. Like, what? What is this? What am I? What am I doing? And you know, kind of got dissolution with that a little bit. So yes, then I eventually came to the conclusion. I was like, listen, a lot of people have supported this and put in time with this and said yes. I vote for Muscle Party. I want to see this, and, and, and it, it would be a real, despite the circumstances, I feel like it would be a real betrayal to all of you who have put your energy and your money and your time into supporting this. And if I didn't at least give it, you know, we could say, like, well, we did it for a period of time other than a month. Uh, that'd be pretty anticlimactic. And maybe some people would understand, you know? And I would just do a career pivot to something. Um, but I was like, all right, let's 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 finish the work. Let's get everybody through this fucked up year. Um, not that this is like some noble pursuit, <laughs> which it obviously isn't. But, you know, it's like we're a community now. And, I, and uh, if nothing else, I will be with you <laughs> to, until we deliver ourselves from the rest of this fucking heinous year. And let me be there as a banner man of grief. And misery, you know, my face is all fucked up, but I'm on the battlefield. I'm that orc that's like, <laughs> we all just keep pushing forward, okay, until we overrun the fortress or whatever the fuck it is we're doing, our little orc brains. So, the bottom line. So, anyways, I came back, the warehouse, right? Too expensive. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. Our lease ended. Uh, Alex and I were like, what? We can't tear down the sets right now. We're already depressed. We thought we were depressed. That's the, the true irony is I thought, you know, oh, couch up ended. I'm sad. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, I don't have the energy to tear down sets. And now I'm like, oh, walking corpse. Um, 
But uh, I was like, yes, we got rid of it. Anyways, came back. It was business mode. I was like, let's do this. Contacted a set deconstruction company. Had to, you know? Do you know you have to pay for everything? <laughs> Anything worth a damn? So I had to pay, you know, a few grand. They came, but they did it right. They took the sets apart, deconstructed it. The, the alternative was us shattering it into like 40 dumpsters worth of stuff. They took it apart. They're bringing it to a new place that rents out sets like we used to do for CCTV. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Eco Sets is the company out here in LA. You can look up their website if you're curious about it for whatever. But their whole thing is like sustainability, right? You make a movie rather than all this waste that goes into the world you can hire this company they'll repurpose the set so all three of the cow shop sets rather than being obliterated into more junk to fill the landfills of this city like the rest of the warehouse um they took it apart and so now someone in the future can rent it so maybe you'll see those sets you'll know when you see it in a netflix show or maybe just some youtubers you know podcast or something but then there was the thousands and thousands and thousands of things uh oh they were just in the warehouse and so that's been like a two-week process oh also i had to find a new place i have a new location i'm officially <laughs> we're officially paying rent on two places but it's fine the new place the new attitude is that it'll be something a little friendlier for maybe all of our collective mental health okay maybe we spend enough time in an industrial concrete block full of roaches that crawl out of the wall and die in front of us every day Let's get, let's get somewhere nice. Let's look around. Let's see some trees. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So anyways, moving all this stuff to the new place, arduous. Every, everything, <laughs> everything filthy. You take, pick up anything, any Ethernet cable. I've had alcohol wipes, and I just run the alcohol along really any item in the warehouse. It's just filth, 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 filth. So that was a process. That was a process. And I was kind of in my feels about it. You know, I had that we had a Patreon meetup where I had some people come and pick things up. And I was kind of like, this will be really fun. And it was fun seeing people. But something about that day just really honestly just depressed the living shit out of me. Because <laughs> the patrons came and obviously they weren't, you know, they took the things that were good that they wanted. So it was like the framed art went. Um, the patron drove all the way from Arizona. She got the Pikachu head from my office and the wheelchair the wheelchair um and a few other things and by the end of the day i was just i was kind of just depressed i was like oh all the things that i still kind of like having around are all gone and it's just a pile of garbage in this warehouse so that sucked but it was good for them and i'm glad that everything is gone to people who will appreciate it that's the important thing right oh you want to know something horrifying <laughs> someone came into the warehouse the other day and one of the patrons, and they were like, hey, is there any Malort left? And I was like, no, there's not any Malort left. We went out of our way to ensure that all the Malort, I think at one point maybe even poured it down the sink. We were like, we're done. We're done. I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this birthday stream. I'm going to drink this bottle of Kettle One I found in the warehouse. And Taylor was like, um, she's like, oh, remember when you loaned me this? <laughs> and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me in my own house? <laughs> even though I, even though I'm the one that gave it to you, I've, I had completely forgotten. Wretched. Oh, I know what we gotta do. What am I thinking? I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry to deprive you. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. You hear that bag? Say hello. Say hello to the grandma. The stupid cone. Blocks this cute little underbite. You want a treat? Ooh. Yeah, come on the desk. Oh. <laughs> Camera. Sure. What? It's up here. Hello. Hello. There he is. He looks like Dobby a lot. He does. He looks like Harry Potter must not go back without giving me treats. <laughs> okay, here we go. You accidentally sleep for 100 years. When you awake, you find that society is wildly different. Instead of a system of government, we are ruled by this. <laughs> Do you go back to sleep and see what the future holds? Dogs wearing cones eating beef cocks. <laughs> and now, Gesundheit Fright.
Every time you hear bless you, you involuntarily <laughs> react by doing this. <laughs> you're about to sneeze while your wife gives birth. Do you You don't want to swallow it because the aftertaste is the worst part of it. it. It will be bad to be drunk from Malort. That's that's a new experience. Uh, huh. It just lingers. It's like a malaise. Have you guys had it? It's Some people aren't for. affected by it. But the for me, it's like drinking method. ether. Some people are like, it's so super. It's just bitter. I guess that's the thing. If you're, I don't like bitter. I do not like bitter. Some people, you know, some people love sour. They love sweet. They love bitter. <laughs> Who's sweet? My flow's so strong. Call me the Mississippi Link. Cause you're obviously made of cake. Oh, oh. Timely. I'm always in fashion like a brand new shoe. They ought to put me in the zoo. <laughs> Here we go. When I sense danger, I start to shit. Oh, nice. I'm craving a banana split. Okay. <laughs> I'm a cosmic force, so call me the big satellite. Wait, I fucked myself over how to I rhyme satellite. I told you, bro. <laughs> no star got your clothes from the space. Oh. In my butt to spray you with mace. Okay. Spray four. I Great. got more processing power than a phone. It's clear that you got these bars on the loan. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Did you look a bit thick? Swaying around with those big hips. Uh, okay, bungus. Your new rapper name should be MC Obama. Cause you look a little like my mama. <laughs> Why are you here? You have no purpose in being in this battle. <laughs> battle is Your mom now looks like Obama. Over. Use your devices. Oh, it's me versus Sage? What? This has been well for you just like Hamlet. Oh. I'll flip you so hard like an omelette. <laughs> I march to sick feet, you march to planks. You're falling short, I'm climbing the ranks. Nice Hamlet. I'm calling your bluff cause you've got ugly features. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waiting on your genius like Dan's dog about the creatures. <laughs> your brain's a weak processor, it's running very painfully. <laughs> My brain's stacking serotonin <laughs> like it's on shopping screen. <laughs> you don't need to be angry cause you crushed it! Have you ever considered a career in crib? In <laughs> crib? I bet you have baby. You need a bib. <laughs> Go back to I school. I bet you have baby. <laughs> Next thing you know, your mom's giving it back. <laughs> I bet you have baby is my favorite rhyme of this entire competition. The battle is over. Winner. Let's move on, y'all. Next match, next battle. <laughs> Your breath is stinky. Did you just eat beets? Mm -hmm. I think you should probably feed those to some parakeets. <laughs> Look at you now thinking you're all pasta. I'll win this round with my personality. You know that was whack, right? All right, sweet. Let's go. What do you got? Nobody's gonna push me going for a job. They're too busy wheezing, breathing the smog. Oh. You will go down in one hit. Blah. You MCs are fools. You all gonna snap. I'm sorry to hear all you British couch off merch. Sad you brought a squiggly cup to a talent search. Oh! I'm taking you down like a train to reach to be fake to you. Pack your bags like burning your career is through. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thanks. Bars. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> check. Tell me who's the whack cat. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, check it out. It's an honor just to be here. You already know the business. <laughs> Penis party is ready for their hot joke. Get ready, everybody. Ever notice how Nightbot and I are never in the same room together? Holy shit. Ever notice how muscle party mods are just a fancy version of... Cow chop mods? Oh shit! <laughs> Did somebody say Arbor Day? <laughs> oh no. I should say Alex mods. Hey guys, I uh, appreciate you. Um, Alex will probably be streaming again next month. Uh, um. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do when uh, it starts up again. If you guys would like to audition for some open spots, uh, 
<laughs> Alex and I would never stream over each other, unlike some other people. A group of tech companies walk into a bar and say, Why do I have to gentrify to get a drink around here? You guys ever seen a, a streamer pull his own head off? And just hold it over his neck? You guys check this out. enough bang energy i'm sorry i'll try again later i'll try again later maddie stacks with the jokes here it goes when i was a kid we didn't have hot moms we had jeffrey epstein Probably guessed wrong, just to make the audience feel better. Fucking nobody game. Oh, one little clock baby knew the answer. One little clockmaker's baby. Oh, was your daddy a clockmaker? There's a mosquito in here. It has to die. It has to die. I've been bitten by 18 mosquitoes in the last two weeks, both at the cow chop wear stop. That's not funny, babe. <laughs> so, get some water. I'll drink some water after this. Those of you that are worried. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> you need a bottle of water? You need a bottle of water? We're so fucking stupid. All right, I love you guys. Uh, I will talk to you very, very soon. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was very, very fun. I wouldn't have spent it any other way, okay? All right, I salute you. Go get some exercise until I see you again. Please, just even go on an hour walk a day. Just treat yourself to something. All right, love you. Bye-bye.